Hi everyone, I'm Frank Jimenez with the BuildRaw team. In this video, you will learn how to create an application funnel inside Cheetah. So let's think as to why someone would create an application funnel. This is a great way to qualify people to work for you or to work with you and is often used for higher end consulting and coaching jobs. As an affiliate, you can even use the application funnel to qualify people to join your team by better understanding how serious they are about being an affiliate. Let's start by taking a quick look at the application funnel blueprint. Now in this scenario, your traffic source will be your applicants coming in from resources or social media. They will enter your squeeze page where they will be greeted by a video showing a great deal of value. Here you can talk about your business, product, service, and even your team. As you can see, this application funnel can be made up of three to four pages. In this video, we'll make it three, but the reason why it might be four is because you may have even made a special offer on your reverse squeeze page where they can simply click to take advantage of that free offer and then it would trigger a pop-up. But in this scenario, we're just going to keep it simple to three pages. So from here, they will be redirected to the application page and be able to go there to fill out an application to hopefully qualify for your team. From there, they will be redirected to the application page where they will fill out an application and hopes that they too can be a part of your team. Once they've submitted that application, they'll be redirected to the thank you page. Now let's go take a closer look inside. All right, so here we are at your squeeze page. So your squeeze page is important because it's going to tell a lot about you, your company, your business, your people, your products and your services. And so you may be able to talk so much about it that people may want to know more. So here is where you can have a call to action that would maybe trigger that pop-up window for them to take advantage of that special offer. But for this example, we have a call to action button that will take them to the application page to start the process and hopefully becoming a part of your team. So here all we did was just add a video. So if you right click on it, you have a YouTube video selected. To change that, all you have to do is go to add, go to elements, and then go down to video and you can choose a different host and drag it in here and set it up. Next, you have the button here. So for this example, we're gonna to go to set link and we have pages set up. So you can go in and set the link to an external website, page, but are all auto tags, pop-up, anchor, video. So if we were trying to trigger a pop-up, all we would have to do is just go to pop-up, then click on special offer. But because we're not going to offer a special offer, we're going to send them directly to the application page. All right, so next, let's go take a look at the application page. All right, this is your application page. And as you can see, we did a reverse squeeze page. Now we're working on an application page. And these are just simple templates that I grabbed from inside Cheetah. So if you just simply go to add, go to panels, and right when you select add panels, all of your different pages can be found right here. So again, this is an application page. These are all alphabetized. So if you click here, at least you have some sort of template to work with. So I went and grabbed this one here and I made some adjustments. So here you have apply now. You can put a date here and then it's counting down to July 4th, 2020. Now here is a mailing boss form. Now you can do it as a contact form as well. All you have to do is just right click. If it was a contact form, you would just click on that little gear icon and then go through, I believe it's a gear icon, and go through and just make all the necessary adjustments as you wish. Now here I have a mailing boss form, right? So all you have to do is just go in here. I dragged in a mailing boss form and to set that form, just click on that little gear icon and then pick your form. So for this example, its affiliate application. Then I've plugged it in right in here. I'm asking for first name, email, how long have you been an affiliate, what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, three words that best describe you, and then they could simply submit the application. Now here in this video, you're going to do your part by highlighting all of the special requirements that you're looking for in an affiliate. For example, and down here, you can also remind your customers the benefits of being on your team, your group, or your mastermind group. Great idea. 
All right, so let's talk about this timer right here. Now this timer was already a part of a template that I dragged in here. Now if you're starting this page from scratch and you want to add a timer of your own, just simply go up here to add, go to elements, and let's go ahead and close that up and go to the main menu here and scroll down to timers and then select your timer. Drag it in here and then make the necessary adjustments by right clicking on it and going to the general settings and changing whatever you want to change. Now for this example we're keeping it simple. I could change it to panels, I could change it to circles, and just pay attention that as you're going through here selecting different ones you're going to have to go back in there and just readjust the size. So for this example let's go ahead and just keep it simple. Now you can count down to a specific day. So as you can see I have picked July 4th 2020 and I've got it set to expire at 1130. All right, now let's talk about this mailing boss form. All right, I explained to you how we attached it. Now what we want to do is once they hit submit, where do we want to take them? So if we right click on the form, let's click on the set link icon and subscribe pending. Where do we want to send them? Well, regardless, we want to send them to the page, select thank you, same thing for subscribe, confirm. So let's go here and let's go to page. Let's go to thank you. Now, a reason why you may want to use a contact form is because if they're submitting an application, right, they're pretty much, uh, there pretty much isn't a reason why to go in there and subscribe, right, or click on subscribe. So that's probably a good reason why you may want to use a contact form, but it keeps things a lot easier to maintain you don't have to transfer that information into one of your mailing lists or so on and so forth. So it's just one less extra step, but one additional step to maybe mention inside your video right here. You still might want to have them go in and subscribe. All right, so we're all set here. So once someone comes here to fill out the application and they hit submit, they will go to the thank you page. Now your thank you page is quite simple. Here, all you have to do is thank them for applying. And you can also continue to talk about your products and services and use this as an opportunity to maybe make a sale. So based off of the content that you provide inside your video, that will pretty much set up the next call to action button that you have right here that will either take them to purchase a product or a service or even to your next funnel. And that is how you create an application funnel inside Cheetah. I hope you found the information provided in this video helpful. Until next time, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Builder All Team. Thank <laughs> you.